हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू सर्वर ज्ञान इट्स बीन क्वाइट सम टाइम आई वॉज नॉट एक्टिव सो आई एम बैक अगेन सो गाइज टूडे आई वॉज हैविंग अ काइंड ऑफ डिस्कशन विद वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड सो द पर्सन आस्ट मी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट कुड बी द पॉसिबल रीजन्स ऑफ अ नॉन बूटेबल लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइज इज whether the system is created or the server is created on cloud or in on prem data center so this was my question basically so the person replied that let us assume the server is created in on prem data center like on premises the server is configured over a virtual machine let us assume a vmware server vmware virtual machine is there so now what could be the possible reasons like what could be the particular uh, main reasons that a system may not come up so we started having a discussion then after i noted couple of points here so for for of having a discussion and uh, sort of creating this kind of this video for you guys that you should also be aware of it so the very first reason could be here related to bootloader issues now what could be the bootloader issues so it could be the very first possible reason could be corrupted grub grub stands for grand unified bootloader right or other loader like it could be possible multiple loaders are there and some misconfigurations are there some incorrect settings has been configured within grub.conf file it could be because of the file system is corrupted like the file system let us say it is xfs it is ext4 3 2 or whatever so it could also be possible that the file system is corrupt or maybe file system errors could be there not completely corrupted but yes some i nodes or maybe super block of that particular file systems are corrupted it could be a problem related to kernel now what could be the problem like missing or corrupted kernel could be a prob like particular problem that kernel is missing from the system someone has unwantedly removed the kernel from the system or someone has deleted maybe in it rd image of the kernel the image the initial ram disk image of the kernel is deleted so the kernel may get panic the kernel panic error could be there so these are the possible cause and these issues are related to boot loader only like at the time of very first step when we talk about okay let us say let's press the power button so after that what happens it goes for post after that like grub and so on and so forth so either initial issues could be related to these items it could be like corrupted grub and all whatever i have just told you guys now the second issue could be hardware problems what could be the hardware problem like failed hard drive or the storage drive you can call that 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 is failed maybe the underlying hardware is corrupted for example we are working on a physical server linux operating system has been installed there and that is not coming up so it could also be problem from the hard disk side right so we may need to like debug that particular issue as well it could be memory issue like memory is not sufficient to come up in case of virtual machine boot process configuration or yeah yeah one more thing i would like to add here even the memory is corrupted the the ram which is which is implemented on the server which is associated that is faulty now boot process configuration it could be like incorrect incorrect bios settings are there boot order is not right like we have defined the storage device as boot and like boot is boot device as storage so some misconfiguration is within uh, once again that grub.conf file we all remember that so that could be a particular problem now there are different softwares available within the server it could also be problem that incompatible or misconfigured drivers so if for example while configuring so the linux kernel is that much smart and capable enough that it identifies the issues at the time of software installation but sometimes linux administrators are given that kind of rights that we can override those errors which are produced by the kernel at the time of installation we can forceful we can force our kernel to install the software into system but right now we have forced but let us say later on when we restarted the server at that moment that individual software may look for some libraries which are missing or which are not compatible with the operating system so that may also lead to non booting system okay then after it could also be possible like loadable like uh, loadable kernel modules are missing 
For example, I installed one kernel without its devil or without its, its dependency files. That can also lead to non-booting system. Now software or configuration changes, it could also be problem. Let us say we install a software. Let us say we are trying to configure NFS. NFS server is down and we have configured the system in such a way that until all the available mount points are accessible, system should not be boot. System should not come up. That can also be a reason that an operating system may not come up. Okay. Now let us say we have one file, one file known as less etc fs tab. So guys fs tab stands for file system table. So the entries which we have done within fs tab file that may be wrong. Now what does that mean? Let us say we have two disks associated on the server. One is slash dev slash like sda one is sdb. At the time of troubleshooting so we were trying to check the hard disk so unwantedly the slots of those hard disks are changed so when slots are getting changed so the particular hard disk drive letters may also get changed right so at that moment it could also be very much possible that the incorrect fs type entry may also lead to that level of problem in that case you will see the particular error like control d press control d or enter root password that sort of error, like error may come then after it could be some kind of security risk for example some mal some uh, like malware are there or some rootkit infections are there or maybe like uh, some, kind, some kind of ransomware is available on the system right so if these sort of things are there that is that uh, the operating system is encrypted by that particular rootkit or that malware or that virus so these may these reasons may also lead that your system may not come up or let us say the uh, insufficient disk space is there system is trying to write some logs at the time of boot up but we do not have even a single KB space free like uh, space left on the disk on the server so it may also lead to system uh, non bootable condition now it could be partitioning error what does that mean so at the time of partitioning of the particular disk we may not like uh, the particular partitioning is not done in correct manner that is not that is not accurate okay so now okay, let us say we have discussed about in theory we have discussed okay these could be the possible areas where we may need we may check okay like whether this is the issue or that is the issue now how to fix it so guys for fixing you will need a kind of usb drive or maybe a cd rom if it is a physical server you will attach a part you will uh, plug in your cd or maybe your usb drive then after you will boot your system into rescue mode or you can call that emergency mode or you can call that like uh, single user mode whatever so you will boot that system then after uh, you will mount the operating system you will mount the operating system into read writable mode then after you will figure it out like what are the particular issues available on that particular faulty operating system based on your findings let us say your graph, your graph files are, are, is corrupted or maybe like some wrong settings are there maybe some additional dot someone has mentioned right so whatever are the issues based on the particular troubleshooting steps mentioned or like obviously once you identify the issue it could be possible because of fst file so in that case you will correct the particular parameters and after that you shall be able to recover your operating system your system will be bootable right so guys these are like major issues these are the main reasons that a linux linux operating system may be non bootable right so that is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching if you are new to this channel please do like share and subscribe to this channel and please do let your friends also know they can also gain good knowledge from the particular channel server game thank you so very much have a good time and Thank you.